Commissioner. Headed by the ROD Chief, Ms. Mira C. Roa. We have here our guests for attending with us today from Commission on Audit 11. Good afternoon po sa ating tanan. Maayong hapon po. I'll start my opening message no? uh, by thanking our acting regional director, Director Rinia Simonio, uh, and the rest of the PDs, the five provincial directors, and 13 administrators of our TPIs and TAS. Afternoon is going to inspire you, but I am not sure. I am not inspired because you are not inspired. Show to us that you are inspired. Show! That's it. I am now inspired. An eagle is something that can fly as high as he can, even to the highest altitude. If, that's, if that does not fly as high, that's not an eagle. That is a duck. We need to have the performance. Harvest time has come. The title alone, look at the title. Performance Assessment. What is the balance scorecard of TESDA Region 11 vis-a-vis our deliverables? Have we read what is expected to be harvested? Are we claiming 10 is the highest? 9, 8, or even 5? What is it? Maybe. That all depends on how fast you deliver within the timeline. And as to the physical accomplishment, we still have to catch up. Anyway, we are still at 94% accomplishment. Take this opportunity to thank everyone. So, salamat kayo sa to mga job order workers. Palakpakan na to sila tanan for being part of TESDA for so long years and for being our partner in implementing our programs and services. Kung wala sa di sila, dilipod na to ma-achieve ang atong mga uh, na-achieve karon at this uh, moment, karon at this date, as of karon na accomplishment. So, salamat kayo sa atong mga JOs. In the ROD, we ensure that your significant contributions are accounted for. We have challenged our practices and uh, strategies no? from the first quarter of this year. Uh, we focus our energies no, sa ato ang barangay development programs, primarily. No? We were in the remote areas, far-flung areas, bringing the programs no, of test that to our valued customers no, and stakeholders, our beneficiaries through our scholarship program. From first to third quarter of this year, so as of October na siya 2022, we were at 46% only sa ato ang EGAC. For those who are uh, not familiar with EGAC, this means employment, graduate, assist, and certified, no? Two months, we significantly increased our accomplishment to 94%. For scholarship, Ms. Yaog, sa atong EGAC.
special citation is given to Regional Training Center Korea Philippines Vocational Training Center Davao in grateful and sincere appreciation of the invaluable support and services extended to the te to Tester Region 11 as a designated venue for the conduct of multiplier capability building programs and competency assessment in various qualifications for the prospective provincial lead assessors of Davao Region. Given this 12th day of December 2022, during the conduct of Tester 11 Yepa culmination activity of the 2022 campaign to end Vausi at Eden Nature Park and the Resort to Real Davao City. or CACW having met the provincial target of 100% accomplishment. This flag of recognition is awarded to Davao Oriental Provincial Office. and for having achieved at least 90% compliance to the General Appropriations Act, Act or GAA requirements reflective of the timely and efficient delivery of competency assessment and certification program. It's awarded for having the highest number and timely submission of activity reports to the regional office from January to December of calendar year 2022. This flag of recognition is awarded to Davao City Sur Provincial Office. with the prescribed process cycle time for assessment and certification. This lack of recognition is awarded to Dava Occidental Provincial Office. With the prescribed process cycle time of assessment and certification, this plaque of recognition is awarded to Davao de Oro Provincial Office. Provincial Office Scholarship Program Implementer, which have reported the highest number of enrolled vis a vis approved scholarship slots for fiscal year 2022. This plaque of recognition Implementer is Provincial Training Center of Davao Oriental. Scholarship Program Implementer, and this recognition is awarded to Provincial Training Center, San Isidro Manpower Training and Assessment Center, or PTC Sintra. Scholarship Program Implementer, congratulations to Provincial Training Center of Davao de Oro! Escort Technology Institution Scholarship Program Implementer is awarded to Provincial Training Center of Davao del Sur. Chapter President of Testa Ace Paaka 11, Miss Melody and B. Bo. So it's the most wonderful time of the year. So as the Testa Ace President, I am delighted to see all the members of the Testa 11 family gathered and united face to face in this beautiful venue for our year-end performance assessment.